Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today is broadcast. The first official application of Western Armenia to the President of Turkey. The meeting of the U.S. Congress on the Lausanne Treaty, 1927. A meeting of the residents of Shushi and Shushi Community Union took place in the Church of St. Grigor Lusavorich. Statement of the National Assembly of the Republic of Artsakh. How the holidays were celebrated in Western Armenia, Marash. Berkri waterfall in Western Armenia is completely covered with ice. The exhibition entitled Secret of the Land, Shahumyan's New Tomb. We present the first official statement of Western Armenia to the President of Turkey. Prior to this statement, no organization had ever applied to Turkey for official recognition of the genocide of Armenian people. Read the full statement on our official website. The Congress of the United States has been going to discuss the Laws and Peace Treaty since 1927. U.S. President John Calvin Coolidge, the 20th Republican President. The balance of the power in Congress, 48 Republicans majority, 46 Democrats minority, and as a non-partisan senator. The chairman of the Senate is Vice President of the United States, Charles Gates Davis, from the Republican Party. The speaker is Nicholas Longsfur, a representative of the Republican Party. Read the full article on our official website. A meeting of the residents of Shushi and Shushi Community Union took place in the Church of St. Grigor Lusavorich. After participating in the liturgy, the daily problems of Shushi residents, the problem facing them, in particular the issues of ensuring their place of residence, obtaining refugee status, were discussed. A decision was made to document the recruitment of Shushi residents so that a proper demand could be submitted to the government at a state level to provide housing to Shushi residents, to grant them refugee status, to provide solutions to social economic problems and to create a community. Thus, dear Shushi residents, our compatriots, keep in touch with each other, pass on information about the upcoming process to each other and of course with us so that we can list all Shushi residents in full and start the process as soon as possible. Our other compatriots who are not indifferent to the problems facing Shushi residents and the most important issues left by the indifference of the government, we call on you to provide your assistance to support our compatriots. Shushi Community Union Throughout the chronicles of Artsakh conflict, statements that distort the essence of the problem are periodically exaggerated, which complicate and confuse the process of comprehensive and final statement of the conflict. We consider unacceptable any statement that calls into question or reduces the subjectivity of Artsakh by various political forces and figures, its Armenian future. It is strange that a last such statement was made by the Prime Minister of the Republic of Armenia on December 24, in a course of answering questions for media representatives and public organizations. Read the full announcement in our official website. Armenians living in Marash province of Western Armenia, like all our compatriots, were traditionalist, pious and religious. All holidays as a rule were accompanied by the church and folk rites. Since time immemorial, the Armenian people have had their own holiday. Students of the Armenian calendar have identified ancient layers associated with a cult, sun, fire and water, in particular during ceremonial celebrations dedicated to the Armenian gods themselves. On holidays, along with the church and traditional rituals, the dishes prepared in those days were just as important as the many places in Marash, almost all holidays and their own special dishes. Among the holidays celebrated in Marash were Gagand, Little Easter, Tarantaraj, Barik Entan, Zar Zartar, Easter, the Feast of Anarchation, Bar Tavar, and Concentration of Graves. The miraculous Berkri waterfall of Muradi province of one province in western Armenia created an indescribable and beautiful sight after heavy snowfall. The waterfall surprises and delights the visitors with its beauty in all seasons of the year, but in winter the picture is more mysterious. The frozen and snow-covered image of the waterfall flowing for the height of about 20 meters is the target of many tourists and photographers. On November 30, 2021, at a Museum of Folk Arts named after Hovane Sharambeyan, opened a temporary exhibition of found artifacts belonging to the Kur Karax period and having an precedent in content excavated from a new tomb of the Shaoman community of the Armavir region of the Republic of Armenia from December 30. It was extended until January 15, 2022. Now the musical part, Armenian Folk Song.
The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.